What is up, everybody? Just goofing off on my birthday. Uh, today's June 8th, but just having a little fun. So these are Beast's wheels with two inch spacers. Um, so these wheels are 16 inch wheels. They are the um, the American Racing ATX uh, coated in Teflon series wheels. Now, I, I straighten the wheels. Uh, technically, I have positive caster. So the wheel is actually pushed towards the front. Um, so I only have like a, a quarter of an inch or half an inch max of, of steering wheel turn before it hits the fenders um, or the, the bumper right here. And then the mud flap. But I, I'm not driving it like this. I was just curious. Um, wanted to see what it would look like. You can see that's, I didn't do the rear. The, the front is actually higher than the rear now so the rear actually has a rake uh kind of going down uh, kind of going down like that but 17 inch wheels on the back original tires 17 inch wheels for the front are right here and they're just street tires these are mud tires they do have two inch spacers so that the the 16 inch wheels will clear the caliper they do have a, a nice stick out i would say Oh, what is that? About two and a half inches of stick out is what I would say. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, looks for, you can't even see the rear wheel at all. But it is sitting on the ground. The floor jack's just sitting here. Looks pretty cool. So, yeah, definitely get, it would have to clearance for these wheels. And you can see that the front is definitely higher. The, the rake is actually going to go down, is going down like that towards the rear. So these usually have a rake in the front where the front is nosedived, but it looks pretty cool. Just goofing off, having, having a, a, a good time, just messing around things. Since the front axle's broken anyways, I mean, I'm just, experimenting and playing with um and the caster is uh pretty positive because uh, they max the caster out so that way I, the tires wouldn't go bald um well these tires but if these tires barely fit um and you can't really turn rose's tires will definitely fit and you don't need the spacers for the rear because of the fact that um, the calipers in the rear are smaller. So you could put 16 inch wheels and clear the calipers perfectly fine. On the front, you can't clear the calipers with 16s because they're uh, bigger calipers. So you would have to um, install the two inch spacers, which I put two inch spacers on both sides. Um, you know, it does have a lift. It's kind of tucked up and you really can't see the control arm anymore. Uh, but just messing around you can see how close how close it is it's maybe a quarter of an inch not even that at the tip of the bumper right here it's actually more like um, uh, a 32nd or a 16th maybe um, the rear has plenty of clearance like I said the caster is positive same on this side this side's a little bit more clear. It doesn't fit my finger though, so. It's about a sixteenth. And then the, the rear, it's got a little room. Versus the 17 inch wheels with the 30 inch tires. You know, plenty of room. So these are tiny. You could, you could see the difference. Those are massive, but just a quick little video. I'm not sure um, if I'm going to put these on right now. Um, I just wanted to see what it would look like with Beast's wheels. It is pretty cool. I like the rims. The rims look pretty good on this truck. The Kind of the gunmetalish gray. And to show you guys, well, there's Sky. And here's Beast. I got him on a jack stand 
right here on this side and then I have a floor jack just holding them up for now um, I'm gonna go put them back on here are those spacers axle and gear g2 spacers these look like um like one and a half inch spacers not two inch spacers yeah one and a half so this is what i mean by hub centric you can see there's this flange here which is the hub and then it, it pokes in there and flanges in there but yeah beast needs new CV axles, big giant holes in them. But um, I'll deal with these later. Just figure I'd show you guys. Looks pretty cool. Uh, I'll give a shout out to Alex. Um, not sure if Alex is gonna see the video, but if you see it, man, just uh, look at it real quick man I, I know we were talking about me doing this just to to see what it would look like and um if you got a moment check it out look at it man but looks pretty cool kind of get back here from a distance there we go i do like the tire stick out tire stick out looks pretty nice i mean you can look at rose rose really doesn't have much tire stick out at all they're actually kind of tucked you can see but there you can see they are sticking out I kind of wish Rose was farther forward so I could give you guys a, a view of both tires at the same time in the center of the truck but kind of hard to show that looks pretty cool though Just wanted to show you guys what I was experimenting with, playing around with. I'm going to go take these back off and go slap them back on beasts where they belong. But uh, I, I wanted to put all four on. Um, I'm pretty positive, though, my, my rear shocks are actually too short. And the back of the truck, is, is, it doesn't have its full three inches of lift because the the limitation of how short the shocks are. So I need to get longer shocks in the rear to allow the springs to stand up higher because of the fact that I put the spacers in. Um, so these, this fender well is actually supposed to be like up here. So the uh, shocks in the rear are actually binding the axle from drooping any further. Um, so this, the coil springs are actually um, about you know, from here to here, they're about, you know, eight inches instead of the 15 or so inches they should be. You know, they, yeah, they're about closer to about 10 instead of the 15, somewhere in there. But that is all I got for you guys. Just goofing off. Enjoying the day. Hope you guys have an awesome, awesome rest of your day. And uh, hopefully I will see you guys on the next video. Um... Uh, just messing around with a 1997 uh, Forerunner's wheel and tire package on the 2007 Sport Edition with the V8. You guys have an awesome, awesome rest of your day, man. And ladies and gentlemen, see you guys next time.